Hello, thank you for watching this video. My name is Matt with TriangleLaptops.com and today I'm going to show you how to replace the keyboard on your Acer Aspire 1 10.1 inch netbook. Now the first thing you want to do before working on any computer is to make sure it's disconnected from its power supply and then remove the battery. Alright, to start you'll only need one tool for this. Anything with a very small straight edge. Um, this is a very small regular flathead screwdriver or you can use, I have here, a plastic scribe with a nice narrow edge or actually what I prefer to use for this is a plain old razor blade. Um, and I prefer this because at the end when you get a disconnect the keyboard or the ribbon cable from the from the computer uh, this will help you get down in there to release the connector. Right, now you won't have to remove any screws for this at all. Uh, basically you're just going to be freeing the keyboard itself from a couple tabs on the side and it will pop right out and disconnect the, disconnect the ribbon cable and you're all set to go. So again I am working with an Acer Aspire 1 10.1 inch model. Um, some of you may have a 8.9 inch model. Uh, the, the removal process is a little bit different for that. Um, I'll show you real quickly how you would go about that. But on the on the 8.9 inch model, you're going to have a tab between the F1 and F2 buttons, a tab between the F7 and F8, and a tab above the pause key. And what you would do is, with those tabs, you're going to press in to that tab and press it underneath and up back towards the monitor for each of the three, and that should free the keyboard out for you. But the 10.1 inch is a little bit different. You're going to have a tab above your F8, and then two tabs on each side. And actually, I'm going to go in and press down and sort of do the opposite of what someone with an 8.9 inch would do. So I'm going to press down and pull in towards the keyboard and that will free it. Okay, so I'm going to take my razor blade now and work out the center tab and the two on the sides. So again, you're just going to go in there, rip along the edge of the keyboard, press down and in, and pick it back up over the lip. You're going to do it for each of the sides as well. Now you should, after you get one side, be able to slide it out. But for the demonstration, do all of them. Hopefully. And it's out. <clears throat> Alright. Now that will, there's your ribbon cable. Again, something very thin will let you pull out your connector. One side, the other side, and out comes your keyboard. Now to replace your keyboard to add the new one. We're pretty much just going to go in reverse. It's actually a lot easier to put in than it is to take out. So we're going to make sure our connector is still open. Now we're just going to slide the ribbon cable back into place and it goes. Close your connector. Try to do it. I start in the middle to try to keep the pressure as even as possible. Um, know that if you start at the top, if you try to start at the top first and work your way down, it'll actually pinch the cable back out so it won't have a, a flush connection. And the other thing is when you get, if you do have to replace your keyboard, um, you're probably watching this video because you need to, but sometimes with the replacement keyboard, the ribbon cable 
isn't as long as this one, so it's kind of you may have to get down a little bit closer. Um, it's a little more difficult then, but still it's the same same process. So now we're just going to flip the keyboard over, back into place, slide the bottom tabs in, and then press down. You'll hear each of the tabs that you heard that you released when you pull it out. You'll hear click back into place. Top, then this side, and that's it. You've successfully replaced the keyboard on your Acer Aspire 1 10.1 inch model.